Hi, this is Hasibul. Uh, today I will show how to access FTP for Azure website. It means uh, how we can access FTP for Azure websites. Let's start. So, if we want to access the Azure FTP, then uh, what things we have to do? First, uh, we have to go to the Azure portal. Then we have to download uh, the profile or publisher information and then uh, from there we will collect the user id password and site address then we can easily access the ftp for ftp here we will use the windows explorer and we also we also can use the any ftp client like uh, filezilla so let's uh, demo so here i am my azure portal and i have a site ftp demo so from the dashboard I have to download the publisher profile or publish profile so here I'm downloading what okay, I will download and right now it is uh, showing that uh, this that means uh, still now I didn't upload anything so download the publisher profile so it is downloading and let's open folder So this is the information what I needed. So now here I actually I want to upload my file through FTP. Let's see what we can do. We have to collect the FTP URL first. From where we'll get the FTP? So here is the FTP address for our site. Just copy it and go to your Windows Explorer and paste it. Now it is asking for username or password. From the published profile, you have to find the username here from here you have to collect this that means first one is the site name and then the username so I'm going first one is site name then the username then your password Here we done. Yes, it will take a little bit of time. So here is my sides and uh, the WW root. Here I just uh, change uh, that file and I put my one. Then it will work. So here I have a HTML file. Uh, this test and then I will upload it for site then we are posting it and we will do it this one let's see what's happened so this is test so this is how we can uh, use the FTP so so the final steps what you do, uh, what uh, we have done we just uh, we can copy the ftp URL from here then use this username or password that means site name and the user id and this is password that's done so thanks for watching thank you